and yeah uh, sounds horrible outside i just came back from my nail appointment actually obviously my hands are white and my face is orange i've not fake tanned well i'm due a fake tan but so i've got like natural ombre and short um great fake tan on my hands i need to fake tan again so that's why white hand orange face but we move all right hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name is rachel and thank you for clicking on this video it means a lot to me and by the title you can see today that i am unboxing the new iphone 13 pro max i'm excited because i don't know if you really know but the phone i currently have is an iphone 8 plus and i say it like that because i've had it for quite a while sis ain't doing good you know she's she's coming to the end but she's done me well and actually the other day it's reflecting a bit look i've cracked the back and i didn't get a single scratch on the back of that thing so i never took my case off um but the case fell apart <laughs> so yeah and i've cracked can you see that i've got a little crack there as well so i think it's about time for rachel to treat herself to a new phone so i went all out so just a little disclaimer this is just me filming me unboxing a new phone like i've still got the home button do you know what i mean so just me opening it up and then just like my opinion and just to show it to you guys because i know some people might be wondering what it looks like i'm not that technical i don't know the ins and outs of everything so you have to look online or look at a different review if that's what you're looking for but yeah this is just an unboxing and yeah let's get into it <laughs> it came in and i actually got it like quite a few days ago but i wanted to save it for an unboxing video just show you guys live on camera is it live whatever i just wanted to wait and share it with you guys because before i bought this phone i watched loads of reviews just to see what it looks like and to get other people's opinions and yeah i just found it very helpful so because I've waited so long to film this video, I had to open the box because Apple actually texted me, um, or some company for them, and they were asking if I got the goods. And I don't know if I got the goods. I don't want to say yeah. And I've got like, I don't know, an iPhone 4S. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to say yeah, and then it's wrong. So I opened it so I could just see if it was what I ordered. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Give you a little close up so yeah i got the silver iphone so you can get gold silver graphite or sierra blue is that right i don't know i know that the pink one came out as well but you can't get that as the pro max you can only get it as the other ones like iphone 13 iphone 13 mini that type of vibe but because i got the iphone 13 pro max i can get the pink else i might have but i got the silver and i think it's supposed to be more white from what i've seen and obviously i've already this phone the iphone 8 plus i'm sure this was called gold but it's more of a rose goldy pink so i thought Do you know what i'm gonna go for the silver and it's the one i prefer from all of them i'm just gonna tell you some little bits about this phone so i think you can get the iphone 13 pro where the screen is 6.1 inches but the pro max is 6.7 inches i just get the bigger phone i i can't my big sausage fingers I, i'm not typing on a small phone do you know what i mean all screen oled display with promotion super fast 5g i've never had 5g i know people are skeptical about it i'm not they've got the a15 bionic chip now i feel like this is the first phone with an a15 bionic chip but don't quote me on that and it's the fastest chip in a smartphone why did i say that i can hear that i don't know it's been so long since i filmed by the way feels so weird but it's good to be back they've got a pro camera system telephoto wide photo ultra wide up to 28 hours video playback compatible with magsafe accessories so you can get like magsafe iphone cases um 
all that jazz so you can charge your phone like that a bit more expensive though so yeah the one i got is the 256 gigabytes which is so funny <laughs> because right guess how many gigabytes my current phone has just guess are you ready 64 gigabytes and the highest you could get was 128, I think. Yeah, 128. And the lowest you can get on this phone is 128 gigabytes. So yeah, you could go from 128, 256, which is what I went for, 512 or one terabyte. I didn't even know that existed. Well, in iPhones. Obviously a bit more pricey. And now obviously it comes to the awkward part. So my iPhone cost me £1,149. I've never spent that much on a phone in my life. I think it's fucking ridiculous. But it's about time I treated myself and I didn't have the money to pay this out right, by the way. Hats off to anyone that can do that. I mean, how do you have money after doing that as well is the question, let alone how, how on earth do you have that much money? But yeah. I'm financing it, so I'm paying monthly £47.87. So it's a bit easier, that's over two years. So yeah, it makes it a bit more affordable, or should I say easier to buy? I don't know, but I definitely couldn't have forked out all that money for just buying it outright. So as you can see, this is the packaging. It's very different to my current iPhone. I'm just gonna go and grab the box to show you the difference. So this, obviously, is a new one this is the old one and this box is way bigger and white because i'm sure they all used to be white and this one's now black and way thinner if you're asking why this is apple used to be good back in the day and they'd give you a plug with your phone now they charge you more and don't give you a plug for your new phone and you think that's all right i've got plenty for my phone i've got plenty of chargers this one isn't like the old chargers okay They've changed it again, and it they do it with a USB-C charger. Now, luckily, I've not had to fork out for a charger and buy it separately because I bought the MacBook Air, um, the one that came out at the start of this year, I think, and that one came with a plug, and it's a USB-C. So, luckily, I'm sorted with that, I think. Touch wood. But yeah, so if you're looking to get this phone, I don't, I think the iPhone 12 is the same situation as well. So even if you're looking at getting that one, just remember it doesn't come with a plug. Even though you pay money that I think you should get a plug. It's a scam. Did you see what I did there? It's a scam. So the old one obviously opens like this. But this one, you peel it to open it, I suppose, and you know no one's got in it. And I think the old one used to have a plastic seal. Why can't I speak today? I don't know. So I'm guessing they're trying to be more environmentally friendly. So let's open it. I thought it was going to be a bit slower than that. I'm so excited. I've waited so long for this. Are you ready? What if I drop it? That's something I would do. Forget it. Are you ready? Oh, I can't believe that's mine. I could cry. I don't treat myself, when well, I say this, I got a MacBook this year, but until this year, I have never like treated myself like things like this. And I think I bloody well deserve it. Yeah. As you can see already, the it looks like it, oh my God, that was too close. It looks like it's white because it's got a frosted back. <gasps> oh, quite a lot's fallen out here. What do you get? Oh, so you get your sticker. It's a nice feature, yeah, but does anyone actually use these? Because it just reminds me when you're like 12, I don't know. And people like stuck them everywhere. It's just, it's not a vibe. But no, it's cute for, and do you know what, for the money you pay, yes, I will take the sticker. And then you get a USB-C charger. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you so you understand. As obviously if I didn't know what it, if I hadn't watched any review videos, I'd be like, Rachel, what the fuck is a USB-C, all right? So you have the normal bit that goes into your iPhone. That's still the same. But what's changed? God, they're really making it a big reveal, aren't they? Come on. 
So what's changed is it's not a chunky end anymore. It's literally just this little small end. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just bear with me, all right? The descriptions are awful, but use your brain. So yeah, that's the USB-C charger. So that bit goes into, you know, the plug or computer, whatever. But I would say, if you are struggling about the plug, you could always just get like a cheap adapter. So then you can just still use the plugs that you use. But obviously I don't mind because I've already got a plug suitable for this lead. Yeah, how bang out of order is it that you don't get the plug? Like what? Also, another thing that I've noticed is normally it ha I'm sure it has like a clear, again, this may already happen on the iPhone 12, but like I said, I've got an iPhone 8 plus. Can you see how long it's been? So normally for me, I'd think that we'd have a plastic clear, what Jim would call it, on the front of the phone just to keep it protected, you know. And is anyone with me that you would keep it on to protect your screen until you put your like screen protector on top? Am I right? Uh, are we there? Are we the same? But obviously now you can. But I'm guessing this is more environmentally friendly. I couldn't say that properly. Save the turtles. Are you ready? If this doesn't focus or goes out of focus, I'm gonna be pissed. Ready? Oh my God. And it doesn't have a home button. I actually don't know how to work these. It's quite funny. Oh my God, I've just pulled it there. What if I drop it? So the silver bit is more like the side. Oh look, I'm there. Huh. The silver bit is here, which is really pretty, but like your fingerprints just go on there. So I'm worried I get it dirty, so I'm gonna put this in a phone case ASAP. And then the back, it's more white than silver in my opinion, which is what I like actually. Um, I saw that in other people's reviews and I was like, that's a bit of me. So you still got the two speakers there. The mic, I know that because I always end up putting my finger over it. Is it that one? I don't know. And the charging port. You've got your volume buttons up, down, your mute toggle. And yeah, I think it's beautiful. You've got the three cameras. I don't actually know the difference. I feel like an old woman. And for the moment, what we've all been waiting for. Let's turn it on. Get that fucking cooker on. That's what it sounds like, doesn't it? Anyway, is this how you turn on one of these iPhones or no? I'm watching it the viewfinder. Hello? Oh my god, that's so pretty. Come on, Apple. Do you swipe up on these things? I don't even know. Oh, okay. When you set it up, it obviously gets you to select your language, select your country. I'm gonna have to read this. It was at the top. Uh, United Kingdom. This is cool. You can do a quick start where you bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. That's sick. Let's give it a go. Unlock to continue. Look, that's what it's doing on my other phone. Continue. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Surely not. Eh? So you can literally just scan your other iPhone and it sets it up for you. Also, I've got no SIM in there at the minute because I've just opened it. Enter passcode of your other phone. Can't believe it. <laughs> May take a few minutes. Okay. Oh, cool. So it sets up your Wi-Fi and everything. While that's loading, just want to say shout out to the boyfriend. So Sam actually surprised me and he bought me a... I'm literally talking like a robot. He bought me a clear case to go on my phone so I could use it straight away because he knew I hadn't ordered one yet. And he also got me a premium tempered glass screen protector. So I'll pop these on in a minute. Literally, I don't know how to use this phone. I've never used Face ID before, so. Interesting. Oh, speaking of which, is that focus? Continue, I've never done this before. How to set up face ID. Do, do, do. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. Move the arrow. What? 
Is this, am I doing this right? First ID scan complete, how many are there? Move your head slowly to complete. Oh, this is a bit of a ball ache. I was excited for this, but fucking hell. Face ID is now set up. Good, because I wasn't going to do that forever. I can't really do this my face. I feel like I'm getting it too dirty already. Transfer data. Estimated time. 20 to 25 minutes. I still haven't eaten tea yet. It's 20 to 11. Terms and conditions. Does anyone really read it? Agree. The thing that you could um, end up signing a new life away, you don't know. That's really annoying. In the meantime, I'd go on my phone while waiting for something, but both of them are loading. I don't even know what they're loading. That's so nice as well to type on a phone. I haven't got to press really, press really hard or press really light because basically I damaged a motherboard on my phone when I've smashed it before, but then I got the screen fixed even though it's cracked again. I really hope this doesn't happen with this phone. Um, fingers crossed. And yeah, it's nice to be able to just type freely. Like, you don't understand how much of a pain in the ass that screen is on my old phone now, shall we say. You literally could hardly type. One minute it would change things. Glitch. Oh, you name it, it did it. Fucking pain in the ass. And that's with accessibility on. Oh, and the battery's awful. And the battery could go up and down. I, I've not got a charger or anything. It just go up and down. Burn. I think it was time for a new phone. Here we are. And make this your new iPhone. Continue. Wow, it just it literally transfers every bit of information or I've done a scan a phone and put my password in. That's sick. But with my cards it's just checking my security code for one of them. So that's good. I might put the phone case on now. I don't want it to get any more dirty. Sam got the case and screen protector from one of his friends um shop who sells like phone accessories. You can like fix your iPhone screen. That's how I went to before for my old one. I literally can't remember the name. I'll put it on screen now what the name of that shop is called. I feel really bad that I can't remember it, but got a lot going on right now. And I'm gonna have to be quiet because everyone who I live with is going to bed. And I've not even had tea. That's quite funny, isn't it? <gasps> Shit me. Hello. God. Right, I was about to put my old phone in there. Old phone. Please don't break, please don't break. I'm really annoyed it's got fingerprints on it already though. Hey hey. Mm. There it is. Right, we've got protection. Why does that remind me of the mean girls, you know, and he's like, here's some rubbers. Share audio recordings, what does that mean? I don't know. Now it's transferring data. I feel like I should have done this ages ago. I'm like going to make pasta. As you know, I've not been on this phone because it's been working its magic. The button is on fire. Time remaining two minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. Okay. Got excited when it said two minutes. Please don't go up any more than nine minutes. 10 minutes. I might go and start making my pasta a minute. I'll be back with you guys when everything's working. Where's the off switch? Sorry for setups different every time I come on here, but I've literally just come back and the transfer's complete and my phone's just restarted again. Oh my god, it even uses the same lock screen picture. How do you work swipe up to open? God! This phone's massive. What's the size comparison? Is it the same? Maybe it's because it's got a case on. Oh, who cares? I don't care at this point. It's just my new phone. I can't wait to see the quality on this. That literally took all the charge off my old iPhone, it's now on 1%. It's good. Good riddance, eh? Jake's actually did love this phone, like, a lot. It's gonna take a while, I think. So I'm gonna go back to cooking my pasta and then I'll be back. That's what you call a healthy balance. Also, you get a little thing, I don't know what you call it, to change your SIM card. So I'm gonna do that now. Hopefully it goes to plan and just take the SIM card at this phone put in a new one. So, wish me luck. I'm back. Um, there's loads of little things I've got to do to set up this phone, so I'm not going to bore you with all that. But I just wanted to test out the camera because I think that's really important. You just hold that down there. It's 
so strange. It says photographic styles. Personalize the look of your photos by bringing your preferences into the capture. Photographic styles use advanced scene understanding to apply the right amount of adjustments to different parts of the photo. Choose style set up later. Just looks like that. I'm just gonna pick set up later so we can Oh my god. This is sick. I'm gonna compare it to my other phone as well before it dies. So should I do front camera. This is so good. Let's do it with my other phone. Just so we can have a comparison. Try and do the same picture. Oh yeah. You can see all that texture there on the face. Should I test out the back camera on me as well? <laughs> oh my god, the quality is insane. Let's do this one as well. It feels like the camera's like focused differently as well, like the pictures aren't exactly the same because obviously the cameras are so different. Oh my god, they're just huge. I I'm obsessed. Right, let's try out these zooms and then I'm gonna conclude this video and go and eat my pasta. The focus is incredible. And we're gonna test the one, the 0.5, I think, 0.5 and three. And I'm gonna keep it in the same position. Just take a picture of something. Maybe we do it with a candle. Just see what that's like. This is so funny, doesn't it? I look at my Instagram in my candle. The issue with Zoom is like you don't lose the quality with that. I'm gonna put them on screen of the order I did. So one times, sorry if I'm saying it all wrong, 0.5 and three. With my iPhone 8 Plus, it had just the normal camera and then the one that zooms in. And it did lose the quality a bit when it zoomed in, but compared to the phones back in the day, it was elite. <laughs> Nothing compared to this. Quite warm though. I don't know why this phone's warmed up that fast. Maybe it's just because it's setting up a lot of shit right now. But yeah, overall I, I'm so happy with this phone. I couldn't be happier. Obviously the cons, the price and the plug that doesn't come when you buy the phone like it used to. But that's it, I am obsessed with the detailing. I'm obsessed, with the cameras are so big. But I'm obsessed with the frosted matte back. It's like, it's silver but it is more white isn't it on the back and then the silver metallic side I suppose it can get dirty but in a phone case I love that I'm so out of breath from taking pictures of a candle what a joke but yeah have a phone case so I'm going to keep it clean I'm going to pop a screen protector on I might get someone to help me because I'm quite incapable I'll probably end up getting loads of bubbles in it so we ain't having none of that um face id is cool it's cool that i've not got to keep pressing my thumb and you know when it like doesn't if you remember this far back when it doesn't recognize your thumbprint all that i'm glad that's gone now and literally just look at a phone swipe up job done or type in a passcode you know brilliant the quality on the camera is it's incredible compared to my iphone 8 plus 11 out of 10 do you know what i mean 13 out of 10 kill me now but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video watching me review sorry Anna, just chilling hi <laughs> yeah i hope you've enjoyed watching me unbox and sort of review my brand new iphone 13 pro max and my first impressions i might do like an updated review once i know how to work it what i'm doing like what's on my iphone type thing if you're interested let me know down below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time i upload then you won't miss a new video hopefully i'll be back into the swing of things and uploading regularly so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one and i'll love you and leave you